So what, you're just gonna put your iPod on shuffle? Thank you, baby. Bitch, I'm an iPod. I am the greatest. I am the king of 2K and I keep making bang. Making bang. Making bang. Bitch, I'm an iPod. I am the greatest. I am the king of 2K and I keep making bang. Making bang. Every single song you own is a banger. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to another NBA 2K24 video. Now, in the last like 24 hours, a lot of creators that went to NBA 2K's community day dropped all of their first builds. Um, what they ended up doing was their first rollout video was an explanation of the builder. Their second rollout videos were a lot of poppers and potential Wimby builds. A lot of their third rollout videos was a lot of guard videos. But today, we finally got them locks, bruh. All my locks out there, I need y'all to tap in. I need y'all to get y'all notepads. I need y'all to get y'all comment fingers ready. We are going to be reacting to two lockdown videos. One from a lock that I do know, and one from the homie Joe knows. So listen, I want y'all to tap in. This is where we get that tunnel vision. If you're a lock, get that tunnel vision. And remember, from my streams, matter of fact, even before my streams yesterday, I've been telling y'all, Six seven is the wave. Listen, I don't know if all y'all are planning on being a lockdown, but I feel like my most requested build breakdown has been the lockdown. So here we go. Drop a like on the video. All yeah, right. So, yeah. in my opinion, from what I saw, I think six seven is going to be the best lockdown height in general, right? Obviously, it depends specific if you're playing fives, threes. You already said. You already said. His opinion, but you know, you know the truth. Definitely six sevens be back twos whatever, but in general, I think six seven is gonna be the best height now Minimum weight you can basically get everything you want if you're going no strength I think getting that immovable enforcer badge is at least on bronze is Worth it for a lock because look at when I turn up my weight right here to I think I go to like 209 I think I go to I only lost one speed and I can still get 99 perimeter, and I still have enough acceleration to be able to get fast feet on gold. So I really don't see why you'd wanna go minimum weight unless you're going no strength, okay? But let's let this play out. Now, reminder, at Community Today, the builder was not finished. So some of the badge requirements that you're gonna see over here on the right are a little different. If you want the up-to-date badge requirements, go to 2klabs.com. Mm. It's free. They got a whole chart completely free. You can see all the up-to-date badge requirements and over there They also have the premium content in terms of the jump shop data and all that and If you use code Joe, you get a big discount. So that's on the premium, but the badge Hey, hey W plug. Hey, 2k labs In my line <laughs> Stuff is completely free. Okay, definitely uh, check out 2k labs. So We're gonna start with our lock mm -hmm. and we're gonna start shooting wise whoa joe come on joe i was gonna drop the the the, the gif in here that we did it joe why are you starting with shooting bro that's the number one thing you don't do is start with shooting okay 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 now from what i heard 75 three ball when you're wide open you can hit can you can hit consistently if you're a good shooter but in my opinion you could unlock a couple more silver shooting badges just by going up to 76 like watch corner specialist and um <clears throat> you know see like that goes to silver just by going to 76 three ball so on a lock most locks you play d you spot up in the corner you would have catch and shoot silver open looks silver corner specialist silver if you're a good shooter that should be all you need to hit from the corner like that is more than enough to hit from the corner and then you also have some other ones like obviously bronze dead eye bronze blinders bronze green machine list goes on and on all right now from what i was told from wolf who was a lockdown in the 2k league i spent probably an hour or two talking to him about the builder yeah wolf and, and attributes and all the things he said if you want to be able to dunk when you're wide open on the fast break put your dunk up to 70 and you should be good so as a lock you get the steal you're off on the break you want to be able to dunk the ball Looks like 70 is enough. Now, that doesn't mean you're driving down the middle of the paint, throwing it down on people. No, when you're wide open, right? Maybe a wide open backdoor cut, you dunk the ball. Nothing special, but that's not what this build is about. And as we've seen in this builder, you have to sacrifice certain categories 
and be below average in them if you want to be elite in certain categories and we want to be elite on defense because we are a lockdown take me take me to the, take me take me to the moon let's go 99 steel that is going to get you hall of fame interceptor hall of fame glove and a hall of fame right stick ripper and i'm telling you right now especially in the first couple weeks of the game guards have not figured it out they haven't figured out what the threshold is for the attributes they need in terms of what works in the gameplay of the new game they haven't figured out the animations to use to be as quick and as efficient dribbling as possible there's a lot of stuff they haven't figured out and if you can bump them up and you got that hoff glove and the hoff right stick ripper right that new badge you will tear it off of them you listen if you are a lock in the first two weeks of a new 2k and you are not good you're not you're not giving guards fits, you are a bad lockdown. Because the guards have a lot more to figure out than a lock. A lock, animations and all, it doesn't really matter for a lock. A lock, it's all about attributes and badges. And that's what this build has, all right? Come 99 on, man. steel. Come on, man, take me, take, give me my perimeter. Come on. You're up here a lock. You got the three ball, you got a little bit of dunk. Let's move on. Perimeter, 99 would give you the Hoff Clamps, the Hoff Pick Dodger. If you want to save some attributes, you go 93. Uh, hold on, back that up. 93, right? Gold Clamps, Gold Pick Dodger. Depending on the game mode, that might be more than enough and depending how you want to play with it. But if you're like trying to play Comp 5v5 or you're trying to guard like really sweaty guards in the stage, I don't see why you want to go 99, bro because you'll see how this build plays out, but I feel like you still get everything that you need in terms of being a lock. All right, you're gonna need speed, okay? Speed for a lock, when you're not sliding your feet, speed is everything. Speed is gonna get you moving around the court and all of that in terms of like <clears throat> running without the basketball, right? Even on 23, it was the same. Speed is when you're running without the ball. Acceleration doesn't matter in that aspect, but where acceleration does come into play is for this new badge called fast feet you need acceleration to be able to get fast feet and despite the fact that we turned our weight up like i said you still get fast feet on gold on this build now you i think it's 77 acceleration for gold fast feet but as you can see when we put up our perimeter defense to 99 it raised our acceleration to 79 so we had to use those attribute points in that category okay uh, you know, it's kind of, you know, it's just how the builder is now. They connected more attributes to each other. And if you want to be elite, it's going to be, it's going to cost you. Cause not only obviously 99 perimeter is expensive, but then you got your acceleration all the way to 79, yada, 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 y'all get it. Uh -huh. right. yeah, 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 we get it. We get it. Keep going. Keep going. Stamina. Stamina is something that locks used to sacrifice. If you want this new badge, 94 feet, you need you need stamina gotta have stamina to unlock this new badge 94 feet which is going to help you press the ball all the way up the court so that's a decision you got to make also for workhorse you need 99 stamina so that's a decision if you want those badges as a lock you could lower your stamina if you if you wanted to all right but 99 stamina unlocks three basically pretty good defensive badges on hall of fame last but not least i see a lot of people making their ISO builds, their lock builds, and they're making it with no block and no interior. Now, depending on the game mode, you might get away with it, but for me, I don't wanna just be, <laughs> I don't wanna be a liar. I don't, I don't wanna only be able to guard the three point. Tell them, you don't wanna be a liability. Say it, Joe. Come on, Joe, say it. Fine. Someone drives on me, I wanna be able to get a stop without having to get a steal. But we're putting our block, putting the block up to 82, all right? 82 block and 67 interior i would like to go even higher on the interior but like i said we're putting strength on this build so we gotta you know it is what it is but we got anchor on bronze and when we mess with our vertical we will unlock chase down as well all right vertical is tied to chase down you see chase down bronze right there now, I would like to get it on silver. And as you can see, you can get it on silver. 
but it's just decision. You know, you're 95 overall, so that's you got to make that decision if that's something that you want. We're 95 overall. We don't have strength and we don't have pass accuracy. So it's like obviously it's give and take in this builder. You can't have everything that you want. That's how it's designed to try to maintain balance. So if you want 75 pass, which from what I hear from Wolf is not great, it ain't great, but it's decent enough. But you'll see what you can do, right? And this is without strength. Oh, he he skipped ahead a little bit. He skipped ahead a little bit, chat. Whatever reason that interior defense went up one. What else? What you can do is drop that chase down to bronze, and that'll allow you because you you don't need anywhere near as much vertical, right? You was 15 on the vertical, lower my speed down by two, put the interior back to 67, and that'll allow you to get the 77 strength that you need to get that immovable enforcer on bronze. Now that's if you want to lock. With strength i feel like it's worth it to get this immovable enforcer badge because as you can see it not only helps players uh strength when defending ball handlers but finishers basically wolf told me it works on the three-point line when you're guarding the ball and it also works in the paint to help get stops so okay yeah we lost some vertical in terms of the and, and we lost um one badge level of the chase down but you still have bronze anchor with an 82 block 67 interior max wingspan 67 and now you have a movable enforcer and a 77 strength i feel like that's a better overall lockdown build than going with a 40 strength and getting the silver chase down or maybe getting a little bit better finishing or a little bit better shooting i think going with that sil i think going with that 77 strength to get that bronze immovable enforcer for a lock with 99 perimeter 99 steel 82 block i feel like that's a really really solid build and as you can see compares it to tony allen who's probably one of the best defender not probably who is one of the best defenders in nba history so i guess that's cool and it's called the point of attack stopper pretty dope name point of attack stopper chat point of attack stopper hmm Hmm. Now, now, I will have to say that I am not going to make my build like Joe knows that I am sacrificing much more than what he sacrificed. Now, I'm going to tell you why. Joe had you be a person with a 76 three ball, which allowed you to get silver shooting badges, right? Which means you're going to be a corner sitting lock. What if I don't want to be a corner sitter? It's more of a sacrifice, right? I want to be the best lockdown that ever touched that ball. It's that plain and simple. Yo, you did your thing. You showed me a little bit more of what I need. You showed me a little bit more. Yo, what's good, YouTube? I'm so glad um, I'm able to drop this build because I, I was super excited to show you guys um the lockdown that i was using in the rec gameplay if you haven't watched the rec gameplay yet make sure you go to my youtube channel right now go back and go look for that footage because it was it was crazy and i will be posting some more rec gameplay um if y'all didn't know we played in a tournament but um let's let's just get straight into this video um so what you want to do is you want to go small forward 6'8 218 pounds max wingspan 7'1 matter of fact actually 7'6 my bad i was uh the video was paused so again, I made this I made this build real fast because we had to play we had to play rec. It was in the middle of a game. Um we was in the middle of going to play a game. So as you can see, let me let me go back and I'm going to show you guys uh okay. real quick cuz I, I just started I'm off with my I'm locked defense. in. I'm locked in. I'm locked in. Quick, um what it's looking like. So boom. So as you can see, you got a 94 perimeter defense. Now I'm going to tell you right now. I know y'all going to get scared. Y'all going to be like, "Yo, but I want Hall of Fame clamps." I want Hall of Fame glove. I'm going to tell you right now. If you want Hall of Fame perimeter defense and Hall of Fame steel, you're not going to be able to spread out all the other attributes. A lot of the Pro-Am guys this year, I know I've seen some with a 6-8 lock. They know you you could you could get bumpy and you could clamp, you could clamp up with uh with gold um with gold clamp. So just give it a shot. Give it a shot. You get Hall of Fame interceptor, you get Hall of Fame right stick ripper. Now, we'll now, I thought we wasn't supposed to come into 2K24 with a 2K23 mindset. I know that, right? Go. Did say if you want to separate yourself, make sure you try to use, you try to utilize that badge. So, um, yeah, so look, you 6'8 with a 94 perimeter defense. So you get gold clamps, gold glove, Hall of Fame interceptor. Now, look, um, I also did put up 
some um, interior defense. I do know I get silver anchor because um, I got an 87 block and you get a uh, silver fast feet. Now, I just want to I just want to touch up on silver fast feet because, again, silver fast feet is basically quick first step. But for locks, you don't want to be sliding too much. So, I mean, the most you could get on a 6'8 is silver. So and I think that's good for a 6'8. You don't want to be too tall and be sliding everywhere again this builder is very balanced you don't want to put everything all in one you want to make sure you could try to get everything you know you want to make sure you're, you're decent at every uh every category i feel like for locks it's it's a little bit easier um to get a little bit of everything because you don't really need playmaking you're not gonna get out that corner and just start trying to russell westbrook somebody no that's done you're not you're not doing none of that you do get rebound chaser on silver so you will be able to get some boards out that corner um on offense um depending on how you play uh you get challenger hall of fame that's that's actually amazing being it being able to get challenger hall of fame um is insane ankle ankle braces on half so you're not gonna really be getting uh stunned like that well i, I would hope at least um, in that rec gameplay, we only had bronze badges, so um, I wasn't really at my full potential. But I I can tell that uh, uh, bronze fast feet worked worked really good. And obviously, again, you know we're out there with default settings, bronze badges, or whatever the case may be. But as you can see, I'm putting a pass accuracy up. You're not gonna be able to get Bella on bronze because of 75 pass accuracy. Now again, you're you have to balance everything out. I'm trying my best, you know. Um, I did get an 80 driving dunk, so you get two you get a two step on gold. So you might want to utilize doing uh euro steps and whatnot. I did put my standing dunk pretty high, so um for back doors for all my pro am guys out there that uh that you know we 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 call back doors a lot. So um and for the most part the guard is on us. So you're definitely one thing that I noticed so far. His strength is not up. His vertical is not up. His speed is not up. His defensive rebound is not up. I'm gonna want to put standing dunk pretty high. Um, free throws at a 75. That's still good. Um, 78 three. I'm not gonna lie. That for 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 a lock. That's that's really good. I don't even think as at a six seven. I'm gonna post my six seven lock as well. I don't even think on my six seven I could get an 83 ball. I think the the only way I could get an 83 ball is if you go 6'6", six, six, but it's not worth going 6'6". Six, six. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. It's really not worth going 6'6". Six, six. Everybody's going to be out there with a big guard trying to bulldoze people. So you want to make sure you can't compete with these guys. You know, this build is going to be good for twos, threes, and fives. So, um, and you also get a pick dodger on gold for um you know for whenever you play against somebody who uses screens and whatnot as you can see i'm just toying i'm just toying around with the attributes um i'm going through everything i wasn't able to try right stick ripper in that gameplay but i did get a few bump steals i did get a few uh interception uh steals but other than that every everything else felt felt pretty good as you can see rebound chase on silver and the jump shot that i had on it was a default jump shot but it didn't it didn't feel too slow so like like Mike Wang said, he tweeted a, a a week ago or two. He said, if you have a 75-3, you're more than likely to shoot good because if you know how to shoot, if you're an elite shooter, you'll 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 be able to survive with a 75-3. So just be aware you're not gonna be able to get an 85 three ball like you could have in 2K23. I'm telling you right now. And I made I made my pop so I have a popper build that I'm gonna be posting as well. All right, so far, chat, what I noticed is that he went very uh, spread out as far as attributes go. Um, a 80 driving dunk on a 6'8 build is, is smart, of course. Um, he went with a 78 three-pointer. Joe Nose build was actually at a 76, just for the bare minimum of that. But remember, Joe Nose build was one inch shorter and nine pounds lighter. Um, what I do notice here is that he only went with a 70 block, but he went heavy and rebounded since it is a taller block. So he really wants to make sure that he can get boards. Most likely he's trying to make this more of a, a swing type build because I think 16, 16 swings and all that. 
I don't think they're going to be viable this year. I mean, they'll be good for popping and stuff like that. But as far as the defense and stuff to be able to help on the perimeter, I don't think 6'10 and 6... I don't know about 6'9 swings, but 6'10 swings for sure. I don't know if they're going to be out there like that. You know what I mean? But uh, see how... I made my popper going. build on 2K24. It's a 99 overall. I went ahead and made it on 2K23, and it came out to be a 93 overall. So that should just tell you everything. And you get bunny. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty good. You're not going to get quick drops off one. But an 80 driving dunk on a lock? Come on, bro. Like, for what it's worth, this is a pretty good build, bro. Even though some people might go with no dunk. I know some people who uh, who was at Community Day did make a build with no dunking and just went straight offense and other and other categories. Um, You could make this build with no dunk. But again, you might not want to do that. You, I mean, unless you play pro am or whatever the case may be, you could go no dunk and just straight stand and dunk for back doors, um, and all that. So, but as of right now, I'm I'm really liking this build, and I'm glad. Um, I, I hope you guys enjoyed the rec gameplay because I had a lot of fun. I thought my six eight was pretty good. I did get a lot of on ball steals. Um, I got some interceptions, like I said. I got some rebounds. So. I think this build is gonna be very, very useful. Um, if especially if you know how to play defense. With, with all the defense buff, you know, uh information that came out. He keep going back and forth. You know how to play defense. What so, does he keep okay, going with all the defense buff? What is he trying to get? Precision dunker. Is that what you're trying to get? Are you trying to get precision dunker? You're ten points away. He keeps messing with the standing dunk. That's what I'm trying to figure out what's you know, going on. Uh, information that came out, less sliding, more. Bu oh. oh, for box out beats, you need a 70 strength, my man. You going to put anything into that strength or no? Bump animations. A 6-8 is definitely the way to go. Um, You also get precision dunker on bronze. That's pretty good, bro. I'm not going to lie. Bro, take that offensive rebound down, bro uh that's that's really really good i think you get chased down artists on okay so as a six eight build this is what he went with let's see let's see if he goes anywhere else gold or silver if i'm not mistaken but that's still pretty good with, whether you get it on hold on back it up and take a look at it guys all right so 60 driving layup with 80 driving dunk um high standing dunk no post control so he is not looking to work out the post for fades or for fade phenom because he's also has a very low mid-range shot so he's not looking to do moving fades from the midi or pull up jumpers or step backs um he is looking to sit in the corner for three-point shots with a 78 has a high uh free throw if he makes it to the line 75 pass accuracy he even said it himself Pass accuracy is not that good. Uh, Jay, Joe knows also said that Wolf said, and Wolf is a dev that used to be in the NBA 2K League, that 75 pass accuracy is not good at all. Um, as far as the defense goes, I like the defense. I like it for a taller build, which is 6'8". Don't go 6'9". But I definitely want to be 6'7". I want to have access to as many Hall of Fame badges as possible. That's just me. And my specialty will be defense. So I am going 6 7. Um, as far as the offensive rebound goes, I don't know why he went so high mm. in offensive rebounding. Let me let me actually check this out. Let me actually check why. Okay. Um, you could easily have gotten box out beasts by just putting up your defensive rebounding and your strength, and you would have been totally able to fine. try right. And you getting rebound chaser. Yeah, you could have wow. So yeah, you could have gotten box out beast, rebound chaser. I stick rip all by all by doing rip just doing defense. All by just doing defense for sure. For sure. You could have just did defense. You would have been fine there. Um, so that's probably what I'll do. I'll probably go more with a honestly, I'm gonna be real. Since my build is six seven, I probably won't have any rebounding. Simply because that's going to be one of the sacrifices I'm going to have as a lock is to get bumpy up top, you know, follow somebody to the free throw line, get a potential stop and break every time. I'm not down there to get boards. I'm going to leave that to somebody else <laughs> for sure.
but there probably will be instances that I might need to, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see day one for sure. Yeah, chased out. Um, we see that he maxed out speed. We see that he maxed out acceleration. Um, he was saying something about fast feet. Um, if you have it too high, you'll be sliding around out there. From what I was told, sliding, it, it's not that much sliding in 2K24. So, you know, that's, that's, that's something that we have to see. But I know that, again, I want to have access to all of the badges, even if I don't need them. Because even if I don't need them, I'll know for a fact what works and what doesn't work just by playing in season one of 2K24. So if I decide to ever make another build, something that can somewhat defend, then I'll know because I have access to all of the badges and I'll know what I need for my next iteration of my builds. So um, strength, this build don't got no strength. He don't even got a 67 strength. So let me see, let me see if he ever went down to strength real quick. Out that corner. Um, all right, so. Um, um I'm on offense he put the strength all the way up and nothing changed for him um, um he can't get bulldozer he can't get fearless finisher he can't get physical handles well of course that's because he don't have any playmaking right all right let's see if he ever went up to playmaking and back down it didn't it didn't feel too slow so like like mike wang said he a jump shot but it didn't it didn't feel too slow so like all right so strength he doesn't have box out beast doesn't have well he still doesn't have anything that he needs he doesn't even have of course a movable enforcer um he don't got brick wall he don't got post lockdown he don't got a lot of badges like that that help you as a defender at six eight he doesn't he doesn't even have them these are these are premier, like a movable enforcer, brick wall, post lockdown. Those are premier, premier defensive badges, and he doesn't have them. I don't know about this one, chat. Um, I'm still not satisfied. Um, and I'm gonna tell you why I'm not satisfied. I have yet to see somebody go in, and and I'm, I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all what I mean by that. Um, I've yet to see this. I've yet to see this and I tweeted about it, of course. Now, this was funny. Somebody said <laughs> what I saw was creators saying, don't come to 2K24 with the 20, 2K23 mindset and turn around and make 2K23 builds. That was fucking hilarious. He said it, not me. But um, this was the tweet that I put out. Um, I said, after watching so many build videos of NBA 2K24, not one creator did the unthinkable. Day one launch of 2K24, I will load up the game open up my career, select the builder, and I will raise everything defensive and everything physical to the max. The reason that I'm going to do that is because from there, once I know what the max is and how taxing it is, I can then take away from it one by one on things that I don't need at all. So for instance, if there's a threshold where, let's say for instance, my, my vertical is... Let's say it would be 77. Hey, I'm sorry, Trey. I had to pick the number. Just imagine it being 77. And what I do is I say, okay, well, I only need a 75 or a 73 for these thresholds of whatever I want to do with this build. Then I'll put it down to a 73 and then move on. Then The next thing I will put up after defensive and physical attributes will be my pass accuracy. That's one thing that I won't sacrifice, being able to move that ball out of that corner, um, throwing it back up to the paint if I cut back door and whatever guard leaves the uh, um, the person who's defending our point guard or our shooting guard, I can swing it back to them on a rotation. And I just want to make sure that I got the best pass accuracy for that and to potentially get certain badges like touch pass, relay pass, or things of that nature. As far as ball handle, as far as dribbling, as far as speed with ball, I don't need it. As far as shooting goes, I will decide if I want to be a mediocre three-point shooter or if I want to be an elite mid-range shooter. Now, if I want to be an elite mid-range shooter, this is how my build is going to work. It's going to have post lock, I mean um, post control, and it's going to have mid-range. It's not going to have any three, and it's going to have a pretty decent 
free throws, 75 to 77, in order to hit free throws. If I decide that I want to be a finisher with my lockdown, that means I'm sacrificing shooting almost all together. So I'll be sacrificing a lot of shooting to be a premier dunker or a premier layup artist. That will be the sacrifice that I have to choose, and that'll all come out on day one. And I promise you guys, I will make three to four builds, all iterations of what I just said, and I will take them into the uh, my player tester and test them out. I want to test out their layups. I want to test out the meter because I'm hearing that the layup meter is really, really good this year. Even though I hate meters, I already have to use one when I want to dunk on somebody. So if I want to be a, a layup artist, I might as well just use a meter again. Like I did in NBA 2K23 with dunks. It don't it makes sense, right? But if I'm gonna be a shooter, of course there's no meter. I want the I want the 20% boost. But I do thank Joe Nose and Tough NYC for making these lockdown build videos because it helps me get a clearer, you know, tunnel vision look into what I want to do in 2K24. And I know what a lot of people are gonna say. They're gonna say, yo, bro, don't. Don't do that. Don't make that type of build. Bro, it's my money. It's my choice. And it's what I want to do. And, and just to think about this, right? What if 2K patches something that makes shooting easier? All right, so with that being said, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it was a little lengthy video, but I had to get this out to all my lockdowns out there. I know that I will be making other build videos for point guards, shooting guards, power forwards, and centers. I do know that. But for the first 24 to 36 hours of NBA 2K24's inception, I want to focus on lockdowns for you guys. So this is your boy IKC signing out. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel or if you haven't yet. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, Abba, King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, Abba, King Kong, King Kong, King Kong.